What's up guys, Baker here. I'm in my car again doing another tutorial. I'm gonna call this one uh, Custom Kill Cam Text. And it's basically this um, custom text up here and the custom, uh, what's this called? The gamer tag and the uh, thingy uh, in your kill cam. And um, you can probably apply this to uh, Modern Warfare 3 or Black Ops and stuff, but I'm gonna go over Modern Warfare 2 because I know the font and um, it's pretty easy to work with and stuff. So, anyways, uh, let me just go ahead and delete all this. Um, here's our normal clip. We have round winning kill, and then we also have uh, phase natural down here. And um, I'm gonna show you two methods. One's really easy, and the other one is a little bit harder, and it can give you some more ideas on uh, how to do other effects if you uh, apply them correctly. So anyways, we'll go to when the kill cam starts. So we need to find that exact frame right here, just so we remember. Um, let's duplicate our main layer and we'll call this um, blank top. Okay. What we're gonna do is basically take our rectangle tool and just mask above the round winning kill text up here just like that then just uh, you know slide it down on top like that now it's pretty pretty sharp and also make sure to trim because we're on the first frame that happens now it is pretty sharp you can try to feather this a little bit just make sure you don't uh, start to reveal the text underneath if you feather it you know too much so maybe at most five pixels should be okay and for the most part, it covers up, you know, everything. So that's pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it off real quick. I'm going to make a new text layer. Just put it right above your text, and we're going to call this What's Up, Guys. Now we're going to try to match this text as best as we can to make it, uh, you know, convincing. So we're using Bank Gothic, and this depends on, um, I know, some European game uh, games have different fonts but for the most part it should be bank gothic and I'm going to use a font about 25 maybe a little bit bigger 50 okay let me just get rid of all these uh, extra settings real quick okay so I have my text let's make it a white text and um, we're trying to match the size so you know that looks okay if I match the G's right here Make sure you're on medium. If you're on light, it looks a little too uh, too skinny. So stay at medium. Now there's a tiny drop shadow, so we're gonna go to layer layer styles and drop shadow, and we're just gonna simply change the distance from five down to three. So it's a very small drop shadow. And we'll just place this right on top, and I will turn off or turn on the blank top, and there we go. It says what's up, guys. Now I'm also going to change the gamer tag down here. Um, again, duplicate your main clip and call this blank bottom. And if I solo this layer, I can mask out. So I want to cover this up. I'm going to mask out right next to it. So right about here, like that. So if I turn it to none, this is what we just masked. Okay. So back to add. Um, I need to, let's see, I'm solo. If I move it over to the left, it starts to cover it up. But I need to stretch it using the scale. So stretch the X until it's a really long bar and just move it sideways. If you hold the shift and the uh, use the arrow keys, it'll move it um, exactly to the left. So try not to use your mouse. It might not you know, line up perfectly. So maybe scale a little bit bigger. Again, it's pretty harsh, so we can try to feather it, maybe one pixel, and uh, it's starting to reveal the text at the bottom, so just make sure you slide it until it's uh, it's good and stuff. So, uh, that's, pre that's pretty good. Um, so again, same thing, we're going to turn it off. I'm going to zoom in here, actually, to uh, 200%. Make a new text layer, and call this uh, Baker here. Now, I actually want the first letters to be capitalized like a gamer tag should be um, let's use the dropper 
to copy this uh, light green color so that's good we're also going to apply a stroke so use this back color right here click on it make a black stroke and make sure your uh, setting is fill over stroke so if we do stroke over fill and increase the stroke it uh, goes on top so we want the fill on top of the stroke and just adjust the size until we get a nice size now I forgot to change the font size I think it's like um, 25 yeah that looks okay 25 or 30 so uh, the stroke is a little too big so maybe 3 that looks good so again we're just trying to match the uh, other elements in the game so I'll just place this right here and turn on the blank and there we go there's our custom text and um, we can always just change this and um, yeah sweet so you can probably change you know oops probably change things like um, clan tag and the pictures and stuff but uh, the main point of this was to cover up old text and make some new text that looks like it's actually part of the game now the other method I wanted to just briefly touch on um, is using paint tools things like in uh, Photoshop you can use this in After Effects so if I right click on my layer and go to open layer we can see our layer here I'm going to go to window paint so I get these uh, paint brush things and I'm going to use the clone stamp tool and I can see my brushes and all that so I want to zoom in here 100% probably 200% but um, I can just take my brush, maybe, yeah, about that big, hold Alt, click on a point, and go directly down. Just, you know, paint over text. Now, I probably should have picked something closer, like right above it, because you don't want to, you know, copy some paint from far away on the clip. So this is basically doing the same thing as the uh, copy and paste with the mask but it's a little bit more feathered and organic kind of and um, now you might see this happening where it stays on and then disappears that's because our paint doesn't start till later so if I drop down this menu and I go to effects and I go to paint and I can see here is my paint so I can just extend this layer to start earlier and now my paint starts earlier and it is gone and of course you can do the same thing for the kill cam over here I can just uh, make this a little bit smaller sample from over here and just start painting like this now I kinda messed up but you you get the idea if anyone's ever used Photoshop you can uh, use a clone stamper and stuff so um, Photoshop tools inside of After Effects can be very useful so think of some effects you can do with that again um, this is the custom kill cam text and um, I think it looks pretty cool so turn everything back on what's up guys Baker here so if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment or uh, hit me up on Facebook uh, check out my Twitter and Facebook and t-shirts and stuff and like the video, maybe favorite the video, give me more suggestions on what to do tutorials on. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Okay, peace.